Today we're going to dive into a frequently asked question we get a lot, when to use the electrode pads versus when to use the clips. Now both come with your plant wave and both have very similar kinds of sensing capabilities. It's really just about what kind of plant you're working with and different sensors will work better with different plants. So I'm gonna give you some tips on that. So my preference for the most part is actually working with the pads. Advantages of the pads are that you can leave them on your plant for a long period of time. I've left pads on my plants for years at a time. I'll actually just um, you know, snap these on, uh, put them on a plant and leave them on the plant and then I'll like connect my plant wave to the sensors when I want to listen to that. I might have um, you know, multiple plants always connected to the pads and then I'm just you know, switching which one I'm listening to by just connecting and disconnecting the plant wave. So you can get more of these snap electrodes and more pads if you want to go that route. Some of the disadvantages of the pads are that they're a little bit heavier. So uh, if you have a smaller plant that's a little bit more delicate, it might weigh it down too much. So you wouldn't, I wouldn't want to use it on say like this plant, right? They're also larger than the other sensors than the clips, right? So these are a little bit bigger than the plant leaf. So that's not ideal. I could cut these down, but it still would be a little bit too heavy uh, for this leaf. So long-term pads, that's how, I, that's how I think of it. Now, when do I use the clips? Well, obviously I use them for shorter term use. So if I'm out in nature, I'll use the clips to listen for a few minutes. Maybe I'll listen to this plant, then I'll listen to that plant and I'll compare. Any kind of situation where I'm just using it for a shorter period of time, I'll use the clips because I don't want to have to peel the sticky pads off of a leaf. It just takes a little bit extra time. These are really for long-term use. So that's one use case is the, sh the short-term use uh, changing from plant to plant. Another use case would be if I'm listening to like grasses, you know, the, the pads wouldn't really work on that. They're too big. So uh, I would use these on, on grasses. I'd also use them in a case like this, uh, like a smaller plant. Now that said, I would never leave these on for more than say an hour. Uh, just because the nature of them is that they have to have a little bit of pressure. Uh, there's a spring and they have to have a little bit of pressure to hold on to the plant leaf. And these were developed for plants and they are a very light pressure, but I just wouldn't feel good about leaving these on for more than say an hour. If I'm gonna listen for more than an hour, I'm gonna use the pads. But if I'm just switching from plant to plant or listening to something small, I'm gonna use the clips. Let's check this out. I have my plant wave, I have this little plant and uh, I have some other plants here. Let's bring them in. Okay, I have some new plants here in the mix. Uh, look at this beautiful one with this nice little flower and I have a San Pedro cactus here. I'm just gonna show you how I would connect these. So the first one is this little guy. And so obviously I'm going to use the clips because these are smaller leaves and the pads would be too big and they would weigh this plant down. So even with these clips, it's like a little bit, yeah, see, and I'll check each leaf. And so some leaves, will be a little bit more receptive to this and others won't. So that one is much better supported than the previous. And then let's try this one here. Okay, great, we have a good signal there. Now I'll just plug my plant wave in and let's listen. Okay, so that's how I would connect that plant. Ooh, nice. Let's move on to this one here. So this one has larger leaves. These look like they could support the pads. 
And so we'll connect to this one. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you really wanna make sure that you snap these to the pads before you put them on the leaf because you never want to put pressure on the leaf. You never wanna have the pads on them and be snapping this in. You don't wanna bruise your plant. So we are going to connect this one. And yeah, you can have your plant wave already connected or you can connect your plant wave after you put these in. But uh, let's check this out. We'll put one here. We'll put one over here. Nice. Okay, so we used the clips on here and we used the pads there. What are we gonna use on the San Pedro cactus? Any guess? Unplug this. Okay, we're gonna use pads that I just cut up. <laughs> so you can see, I just took scissors out and I cut up the pads to make them smaller. So another pair of the snap electrodes here and yeah, you can cut these down really small if you really want to. Um, so I cut them down to be about the size of the things they snap to. So I'm just gonna plug these in here and I have these electrodes. I cut the pads. See what happens when I connect these two. There's a little bit of a signal. So sometimes cactus can be a little bit more quiet. It's kind of quiet. And that's just what this cactus is doing. I can take these and we can test these just to show that they do work. We'll, we'll test these on some leaves on this plant. So yeah, they work just as well. We just caught this cactus at a quiet time, unfortunately. Now we're gonna get into how do you remove the pads? Well, that's very simple. You just wanna be careful and you want to remove them by pulling from the stem outwards. So uh, I will kind of leverage out and pulling this off very gently. And there, it's off. Do that again with this one. And that one came off very quickly. And then uh, we'll do the same over here. So you really just want to take your time. It can take, you know, it could take 30 seconds to gently take one of these off. Again, they're meant for longer term use with a plant. But you just take your time with it and just hang out with your plant. There's nothing else to do, nothing better to do than that anyway, right? So we just take these off gently. If you want to, you can actually put a little bit of water in there and that'll loosen up the gel a bit. Also, an important note is that these are washable. So you can obviously reuse them and you can wash them if you'd like as well. That could help. Um, in case any of your plants have any fungus or any kind of disease, you might want to wash your electrodes. So we're just being really gentle um, and just steady pressure as we pull these electrodes off, pulling along with the grain away from the stem, and they come right off. So except they're stuck to my hand. So that's it. That's an overview of when I use electrode pads versus when I use electrode clips, uh, what kind of plants work best with what. Um, I'm sure we'll hear a little bit more from our San Pedro a little later 
I'm sorry it was quiet today, but stay tuned for more. Uh, we're going to listen to all the plants together at one point, and that's going to be really exciting. So be sure to subscribe to us and check out our other videos.